Mark Hafford does a great job. President of MMAPL. Uh, it's a new uh, mixed martial arts league, professional league. They'll have their inaugural fight card this Saturday, September 15th at the Hard Rock Hotel Casino in Atlantic City. Tickets are available at Ticketmaster.com. The doors are going to open up for fans at 7 p.m. You got the uh, prelims. Uh, the first preliminary fight starts at 8 as well. Team New Jersey against Team Pennsylvania. The match is at 9 p.m. And you can catch uh, all the streaming live on FlowCombat.com. He's kind enough to join me on the Boardwalk Honda Hotline. Uh, Mark, appreciate a couple moments. How are you? Oh, great, Rich. Thanks a lot. And that was a, uh, you covered the details better than I would have. So thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I'm, I'm curious, how, how did this come about? What was the, uh, you know, the thought, the idea, the thought process behind this league? Yeah, well, it, it actually, the genesis of it actually started uh, a few years ago when a very good friend of mine, Mark Ratner, uh, who uh, handles operations at the UFC, invited me to one of his matches in Las Vegas while I was still working at HBO. I had known Mark for many years because he was the head of the Nevada Athletic Commission and we did a lot of boxing together. And I went to an arena and saw from the opening bout, first bell, until the last bell of the final bout, the arena was full. The fans were incredibly passionate. And I fell in love with the sport. Uh, about a few years later, when I left HBO, went into my own business, I uh, met with a longtime colleague, Hani Darwish, who's mm -hmm. now my partner in MMA Pro League. Hani had been thinking about these, uh, the team concept, and he and I spoke about it, and we thought that it was the next great phase for MMA because the fighters grow up on teams, they train on teams, they, uh, athletes love camaraderie, it brings out the best in them when they've all got their entire team on their shoulders when they're in the cage performing. Uh, and we also thought it would be a great connection factor for the fans, that they have their teams, their fighters in their cities. And uh, we think that it will create a foundation for MMA that doesn't exist right now in the star-driven model that UFC and Bellator mm -hmm. uh, employ. Um, and we think it's going to uh, really change the sport. We're very, very excited. It's going to add uh, many viewers and many fans, and everyone in the sport's going to benefit from it. I, I like the concept of, you know, state versus state, Team New Jersey, Team Pennsylvania, yeah. where you have that, you know, the little rivalry and crossover. And uh, a mm -hmm. lot of these uh, fighters, I've called a bunch of their fights as well, very recognizable names. We'll kind of run through the gamut in a couple moments. But I do like that concept. Do you envision, is this kind of, in your estimation, um, you know, going forward with your team, is this kind of like step one, phase one? Can you see this being something yes. that's, uh, you know, across the board in the U.S. where you're going to have all these different, maybe like a playoff system like college football would have? You know, it's a week-to-week -week kind of thing. Yeah, I'll tell you what we're doing. So right now we're in, we are in an introductory phase. We're rolling our teams out one by one and doing a series of matchups, really making sure the concept works perfectly for the fans and meets their needs. In the spring of 2019, we will launch our first full season. We will have a regular season of 12 weeks, a four to six week playoff run. We'll have eight teams, one team in eight different cities across the country, an East division with four teams, a West division with four teams, leading to one East team and one West team in the finals and crowning a national champion. And then a year after that, we'll expand to 16 teams. So our idea, again, is to go city by city, market by market, put athletes on teams, headed by mentors, iconic coaches, people of the ilk of Dan Miller and Daniel Gracie. And if we have a few more, we'll be announcing later this week for our match Saturday night. Uh, and, and we think that it's going to really be something that the fans will be attracted to. They'll, each team will have a home venue. Each team will have a home training facility. The fans will be invited to visit those training facilities every day of the week if they want to see their fighters uh, training together. Uh, and as I said, when a fighter gets in the ring and he or she has 11 or 12 other fighters' fates on their backs, you watch how they perform. It's going to be really exciting and special. I think something that's unique, you come in from obviously having, uh, you know, just a, a great run with HBO, the TV background, if you will, myself with a TV and radio background. I, I love yeah. the concept of... We always talk fan-friendly, right? But also, uh, you know, sometimes to just have athletes and in this case fighters that are accessible to the fans where you might not get that with other sports i mean there are certain sports where let's be honest sometimes it's tough to, to interview and get some of these guys and to do some events or fundraisers or special events or meet and greet i i like that concept of you know basically it's almost like you're taking me back you know you're kind of you're, you're pulling back the curtain a little bit for fans yeah you know i'll tell you it's there's two people you have to listen to to make this work 
You have to listen to the fans, and you have to listen to the fighters. If you listen to both of them and meet both their needs, you will provide, you'll have a great product that will work live in the arena and as well as coming through your television set into your living room at home. I told all the fighters we're working with, I said, let me tell you how we did it with Oscar De La Hoya and Tito Trinidad, with Floyd Mayweather, with Manny Pacquiao, with all the great fighting stars, Lennox Lewis, Evander Holyfield, Mike Tyson. Those fighters knew that they had to be available and accessible to the public to reach superstardom. And it's no accident that those fighters made the money they did through pay-per-view, yep. which means from the fans. The fans paid because they felt the athletes in their hearts and they felt them through the TV screens as well as in the arena. And I said to our athletes, if it worked for athletes like that, it's going to work for you too. Put in the time, connect with your teammates, make yourself accessible and connect to the fans, and you watch how successful everything will be. Yeah, and the card's absolutely stacked. It'll be the Saturday at the Hard Rock. Not a bad uh, start with that venue, obviously, with a guy like Bernie Dillon who understands, yeah. you know, boxing, combat sports as well. You guys go hand in hand. Um, that you know that that's a heck of a venue. Um, and and I was I was pleasantly pleased to see that they're going to have a lot of fights down there, MMA and boxing as well. Um, yeah. and, and like you, you said, know, it's by the yeah. way, I started HBO pay per view in 1991. Do you know that Bernie Dillon was our head of programming then? We worked together. I do know that, yeah. I... yeah <laughs> That's, what do you have, about a 32-year run there, right? About 30-something odd yeah. years there. It's a wonderful reunion of sorts, and uh, it feels great. I'm proud as a New Jersey resident to be here at the Hard Rock. I'm proud and thrilled as a longtime friend and associate of Bernie's to be here at the Hard Rock. And it's all good chemistry uh, with the coaches, the fighters, and the fans, and it all feels great, and it's a very, very exciting time for us leading to our great uh, inaugural event Saturday night. Yeah, and how about this card? I mean, some of these, uh, some like I said, some of these fighters, I've called some of their fights as well. Uh, Claudia mm -hmm. Ledesma, Emmanuel Wallow, Pagano. I mean, the, yeah, you got some good uh, Bantam weights, really good feather weights. You got some good, um, uh, um, you know, um, the middleweight fights as well. Uh, I see Sellers on this one, Munez as well for um, lightweights, I believe. Welterweights, Wait, Osborne. Yeah, that's a Wait, stacked card, Mark. Wait till you see the heavyweight fight at the end of the night with uh, Kevin Sears from Colorado against uh, Ahmed Samir. Oh, my God. Samir just knocked out uh, his last opponent in 11 seconds, and, uh, and Kevin is big and talented, weighs about 250 pounds. It's going to be a heck of a night. Um, these athletes are so excited, Rich, because they can't wait to show the fans uh, their passion, their skills, and they also know that they're carrying all their teammates' fates on their shoulders. So they're going to give you a performance that will scream through the arena and into the living rooms of America. So uh, we feel really good. We're very excited. From a couple more quickies for you, and I appreciate um, uh, your time. Um, when you look at how all of a sudden the pay-per-view and now we do stuff with streaming and online, and I've mm -hmm. said this years ago, everything is going to be – Online subscription base, you know, you, you do the live streaming on Facebook where I think sometimes it, it works and sometimes it doesn't because you want to incentivize people who maybe not can afford or get to the fights to watch it. But you also don't want to decentivize people to not come to the fights. I know you guys are going to be doing a lot of stuff mm -hmm. online, um, flowcombat.com. Do you envision down the road where this is something, uh, network broadcast television, where maybe you can sit there and pitch it uh, to like a CBS to come? I mean, maybe you're not at liberty to speak to that, but can you envision that as well? Well, I would say this. We've had a lot of conversations with all the different TV platforms. First of all, you can't deny technology. Um, MMA has a young demographic. That demographic wants what they want to watch, when they want to watch it, and they want it available on every device they have access to. That's what today's fans and today's generation of millennials requires. So we're going to give that to them. However, there's always room to tier your programming uh, so that you can be on different platforms, some broader, some narrower, and, and reach different fan bases. And we will do that. For our first full season next spring, I expect that we'll be on two or three different types of TV platforms. We'll be on a basic cable or broadcast outlet. We'll be on streaming. We'll make sure that our product is accessible and available to fans of all ages, ethnicities, uh, all demographics. Um, and we'll make sure that the millennial generation in particular that follows MMA can see our programming 
on whatever devices they choose when they're ready to watch it. So you've got to be accessible or technology just runs away without you. Yeah, I, I was just having this discussion uh, earlier today with someone, and you have to be creative. You have to think outside the box, and you have to you have to come up with something different at the end of the day. You just have to. Well, because, for example, we have, yeah. so we have nine fights Saturday night. Our first three fights are going to be available on very broad platforms like Facebook, YouTube, yep. Uh, another outlet called Fight that, that has about 750,000 uh, Fight fan subscribers, um, all for free. And then we go to the Flow Combat Service for the main telecast at 9 o'clock. But those first three bouts are also three people from Team New Jersey against three people from Team Pennsylvania. It's the same intensity, the same quality. It's just the first three bouts of the night. So there are ways that you can make that product available for people to see and experience and still satisfy all of your audiences, and that's really the goal for us right now. That sounds like a good plan. Uh, put in motion as well. It all starts uh, this Saturday, September fifteenth, and again, uh, MMAPL, MMA uh, Pro League. Uh, Mark Taffet, kind enough to join us, President Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, Atlantic City. Tickets are available. Ticketmaster.com. The door's going to open for fans at seven p.m. The prelims, as uh, Mark alluded to, first uh, fight will start at eight. With those fights, Team New Jersey, Team Pennsylvania, that begins at 9 p.m. streaming live on FlowCombat.com. Before I let you get out of here, I am curious. Uh, in closing, do you um, do you have a uh, anything set up for this first show, fan friendly wise uh, experience, or is this kind of like a, a baptismal by fire, just trial by error? We actually have about 200 fans coming for uh, meet and greets through a whole network of uh, contests. Um, we, we've reached out to gyms all across the New Jersey and Pennsylvania, uh, MMA training facilities to have uh, students, young men and women, come and meet the coaches, see the arena, step into the cage. So we're doing it in a, in a limited context, but there'll be a few hundred people having that experience, and it will lead to a fight day fan experience that will roll out on a, on a bigger stage uh, for our bouts going forward. But, you know, we want to make sure everything we do, we know it's all being done in the right spirit with the right plans. We want to make sure we get the execution right and the delivery so that any fan who experiences it goes home happy, um, and then we'll expand it from there. But, yes, you're right on with that idea. It's very important today. It's all part of our concept of teams in markets and accessibility to fans and with fans. And we'll be doing that. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, good. I'm glad I got you on for a couple months. And uh, I know we talked about this a little bit off air. We look forward to building a relationship. Um, I appreciate a couple months. I'll see you Saturday. And uh, best yeah, of luck with everything Saturday. You got it, Mark. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. All right. Be well. Mark Taffet did a wonderful job for 30-plus uh, years at HBO. And, of course, president of uh, the new MMA Pro League. And as I alluded to, inaugural fight card this Saturday, September 15th at the Hard Rock Hotel Casino in Atlantic City. Check out tickets available at Ticketmaster.com.